As everyone knows, serving is back to three. I've had much time in the lab and I cooked up some greatness. Some stir fry of steak and chicken and some kashtira tears as sauce. If you're first time on the channel, reconsider your life choices. Where have you been your whole life? Make sure to smash the subscribe button. In today's video, I will be showing you guys a fully up-to-date, completed deck profile and guide on Endymion, the best deck. Also, I wanna give a massive thank you to everybody who has purchased the beautiful Trip Gaming deck boxes. They sold out in one day. You guys are actually crazy. I signed a bunch of them. A lot of them are gonna get some really cool notes. Someone called Steven ordered this one. It's really cool. Steven, destroy everyone with this deck box. Let's go. Steven, edited by Steven. Sadly, they're all out, but I do hope to release a few deck boxes in the future. Uh, so thank you guys for the support. It's very exciting that it was sold out in one day. I want to thank you guys. Went on stream yesterday as well, all sold out. We even did a special limited release a Magician deck box that's going to be released in the future. This one's special customized, the limited edition with custom Purple Poison Devil Iris in the back and Magician in the front with limited and signed by your boy. This one is to Andy, pen best deck. Shout out Andy. Yeah, there's 15 left. So if you guys wanna go purchase that right now, it'll probably be sold out in one hour from today, from, from as we speak. And I don't plan to put these back on the website. So make sure to go check this out down in the description below. It'll be open for probably two hours. There's only 15 left, so get it as soon as possible. They will sell out. It's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. How to play Endymion, full guide beginning to end. Highly recommend watching the entire video. Let's go. I'm gonna be showing the deck profile at the very end, but stay tuned because I want you guys to see the actual strategy behind it. We have three Serpent now. This does change everything. It really changes everything because the consistency of this deck just explodes by a thousand times over. Not only do you have your Servant and your Abductors, but you think of Kashtira, everyone thinks, how is the Demian gonna, how is Pendulum, how is Pendulum as a whole gonna play around Kashtira? Well, your Kashtira loser duelist that's gonna play against you is gonna think in their mind, all right, he's playing Pendulum. You know, I'm gonna look at his extra deck. I'm just gonna stop one of his scales because as long as one of his scales are gone, he can't pen summon. How are you gonna pen summon with one scale? Have you read Servant of Demon? You don't need to pen summon. You're about to destroy a, a, your opponents playing a Pendulum deck without Pendulum summoning. Shout out Servant of Endymion, shout out Endymion the Mighty Master. You're gonna blow up the whole board, pen summon later, after you kill them. So it's very vital to think of it like this, and a lot of the times they will lock both of your zones, but by then you're gonna stop them anyways, so it doesn't matter. I'll show you guys methods how to destroy the deck. There's lots of methods, so stay tuned. There's gonna be lots of info I'm gonna give you guys in this video. Lots of it, lots. So make sure to understand it and listen to everything. Uh, there's a whole tidbit of info. I don't need to show you guys all this info because of my homies. I'm taking this deck to YCS Vegas. I am playing Pendulums at YCS Vegas, so stay tuned for this info. If you're my opponent at YCS Vegas seeing this, you already lost. Hi. You already lost before the duel started. Now, the reason why you want to play Brave in this deck is because what does Brave, what do Brave do? It's a green card. It's a green card. So you take all the green cards humanly possible, mix them with Servant of Endymion each time a spell card is activated. What's the first line of the Pendulum effect of Servant of Endymion? Is each time a spell card is activated, you win, the, you win the duel. So you want as many spells as possible. And what spell synergize with Souls? Souls is a spellcaster. It's level one. You play Restage. Enchantress is level three. All these cards synergize so remarkably well together, it's absurd. Now, I would like to bring up Mighty Master here, but I don't have space, bro. I actually don't have space for all my stuff. So here we're gonna go to Crowley. Crowley's incredible in this deck because not only is Enchantress a spellcaster, but so is Blue Boy, so is Souls. Now, Blue Boy does counter uh, conflict with uh, the with uh, the package of uh, the Brave package. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're never actually utilizing Blue Boy. It's just the third spellbook card that you search for Crowley for free. Think of it almost like Salamangrate Sanctuary. Are you going to be playing Salamangrate Sanctuary in Salamangrate? Removing Blue Boy in this deck is the same thing as removing Salamangrate Sanctuary. Yeah, you don't want to open Salamangrate Sanctuary, but if, who can, if you open it, it's still a card. It's not like you lose a duel. You're not just going to magically remove Sal Salamangrate Sanctuary in a Salamangrate deck. That's the same idea with Blue Boy with this, with Brave cards. You still need it because your Almirage, Crowley, is going to search you it for free anyways. And you're going to get Secrets of Knowledge and utilize it properly. It's vital. Uh, here we're going to go restage. Uh, we're going to get souls out here. Knowledge, draw two. I mean, this do good. Look, we drew a blue boy. Does it, does it look like it matters if we drew blue boy here or not? It doesn't ma matter whatsoever. Here we're going to go into Selene, Mighty Master. We're going to do a daybreaker. This is a very cool play where we're going to pop our own restage to get right hand. 
Again, this is a common tutorial. I'll show you guys how to play around interruptions later. In future videos, now, this is, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. This is what you guys would like to see. Uh, my next video of Endymion, I want to show you guys this deck against all meta decks. How this works against meta decks, against actual boards, going second against hand traps, easily. Now, I mean, I'm going to end on so many negates here that I'm probably going to end on double the amount of negates that my opponent has cards in hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh shit, sorry guys, only nine negates. I do hope nine negates is enough to stop my opponent's six card hand when I only need four. Oh, wait a second, you have sphere mode? Oh shit, guys, I just got sphere moded. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, we just got sphere moded. Look, there's a make believe sphere mode on the field. Anyways, Magister Effect, Special Mighty Master. We just got sphere moded. They have five cards left in their hand, they have no normal summon. Apollo's up to three, Masquerina four, Mighty Master five, and right hand six. We have six negates through fucking sphere mode! What the fuck? There's no answer to this. You want a Dark Ruler? You negate the spell card first with your Mighty Master. Right hand only negates the first spell effect that resolves. It's not like the Mermail spell. So the second they activate any spell card, you negate it with Mighty Master. Right hand neg negate the effect of Dark Ruler. See you later, Bozo. You're done. Best deck. That's it. This board put this nine negates. I want to show you guys one more example before I show you guys the deck profile. Now, again, this whole video is just a deck profile and showcasing the basic combo. As far as dueling versus hand traps, I will show you guys that in actual duels where you play versus hand traps, where you play versus boards. I have people rage quitting. I probably made them quit the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! just by me going second with this deck. It's absurd how powerful it is. Look at my hand. Like, look, just look at this hand. Going first, you already know it's nine negates. I just showed you guys nine negates going first. I showed you guys a board where if I get sphere moded, you still have six negates through sphere mode. Like, I don't know what else you want. There's no possible cards. You, you can double Lava Golem and you still get clapped up. So... Look at this, you're going second versus Kashtira. Right, you're going second. You draw a card, activate Small World. You'll think, okay, what's Small World getting, Triff? Well, we have preparation rights to get a Souls already. We have everything we need. This ha these four cards alone in our hand is 10,000 negates. These three cards alone, Prep Right, Enchantress, Abductor, is 10,000 negates. All right, Small World reveals Souls. I wonder what Triff's going to do. Cerberus? Hmm, I wonder what card Cerberus is going to get. We're going second. Huh? I wonder what card obliterates this meta. Sup, Lava Golem? That's the beauty of this deck now. It says 47 cards that you're playing, but you're playing so many draw cards that it's really 40 cards. As out of 40 cards, you have four Lava Golems in the deck. And the Lava Golems does not hurt this deck. You just Lava Golem their ass and kill them. And on top of that, the Brave cards, once you beta a Rise Heart, the Brave cards will bounce the card that stops your scales. So you have a bunch of built-in ways to stop this. And it is somewhat budget, except for the Adventure cards. If you already have the Adventure package and the Souls package, the deck becomes budget. So you Lava Golem their ass, all right? You lava go in their ass. Nice board. Enchantress, you do this, right? Damn, it would be a shame if you had four negates here. Because your Draco back, it's just going to bounce the lava golem back. And you're like, it's this is absurd. You, know, you could lava go in them four times. I, they, you, you, if you really want to in this deck, you can lava go in them five times. Five. That's ten monsters. That's two zones. You could play two people at the same time. You could literally play two people at the same time. One Kishtira loser on, on the right side, and a tier limit full power loser on the left side. You Lava Golem one of their asses, and then you Draco back bounce, and you Lava Golem the other loser. And then you're going to Vortex bounce it back and do it a sixth time. You're going to Reflection bounce it back do it another time. It's infinity times that you want to Lava Golem their ass into Oblivion, so keep that in mind. Reflection effect, let me get that Lava Golem back. This is going second here. I'm just showcasing uh, Anima takes something else from them. That's 11 cards actually, not 9, my bad. 11. So, this is 11 times. This is going second. I know this is a, I'm, well, there's no actual board here, but I'm just giving you guys an example here when you're going second of how easy this is. I'll just take that Lava Golem again, please. Thank you. Uh, like, this is too easy. It's just infinity ways going second. Like, your opponent's going to need a thousand interruptions to stop you. And because of the Lava Golem, they have no answer. Again, this is an example going second, protected with the gates all throughout. No hand trap stops it either. Nibiru, you have Jackal and Griffin easily. And this is the deck list. 47 cards because you want dip. You can't play 40 for this. You're playing too many engines. You don't want to draw three brave cards. You don't want to draw three witches and souls. You want to add as many stuff as you possibly can. And you're playing so many consistency cards. It's almost the same as 40. So you're playing three abductor here. The reason behind it is abductor and servant and mastery. These are your main starters. These nine are vital to your success. You would love to see one of these nine. Very, very important. Now, I'll discuss a bunch of small engines you do need to play. Two Mighty Master is debatable. You could play two if you like. Desires is a card a lot of people love. But because you're playing the Brave Package, Crowley Package, one Jackal only, uh, just small generic shit. Right hand, the one Lava Golem to search. 
Little stuff like that, you don't really want to risk uh, risk it. So I'll explain everything now. Three Serpent Vendemian, three Magical Abductor, one Magister Vendemian, one Reflection Vendemian. These two cards are not good. They're actually, like, they're not starters. They're win more. They're good to have somewhere in the deck, but don't maximize them. One Cerberus. It is a bridge of Lava Golem and Small World, but at the same time, it's a nice card. Servant will resolve a lot of the times against uh, Kashtira, so you bring out a Cerberus. Banish the shit out of your loser cards. It's good to have one Cerberus. If you hard draw the Cerberus, you go Cerberus into Jackal. That's the idea behind it. Three Mighty Masters, because even Mighty Master on its own, you are playing a combo deck. Souls, Enchantress, Braves, Small Worlds, Restages. You're playing a shit ton of Extenders. Servants, Magisters, Reflections. These are all Extenders. So if you're able to set up a scenario here where you're locked out of one scale, and you only have one scale to play with, you just make Selene and you make Mighty Master blow the board up, clap them up. Uh, even if they protect with Mighty Master's effect, right after that, you go access code. Uh, I'm not even gonna get, it's too easy. Double soul, double illusion, triple prep. So this is seven magician souls, but really four. Because we're playing Odd-Eyes Pengraph Dragon, the prep of rights is also a Pengraph Dragon. Now Pengraph Dragon is actually a very powerful card. It's the negate will always go through because you'll always have one free scale, always going first. And it's a level seven, which is vital. And most importantly, it makes a preparation of rights when you draw too many Magician Souls, it can now get you a Pendulum. Low, four is essentially the low scale in this deck. So this is a great card to add in addition here. You could if you really want, remove one Illusion and Chaos, but because of uh, them potentially banishing cards from your deck face down, I would like to have two of the very important ones. If Jackal goes, it's fine, but this is good. Good, perfect number here. Uh, next, one one Blue Boy, one Secret, one Knowledge. I know Blue Boy conflicts with Enchantress, but as I said, it's the same idea of Sanctuary. You're not going to magically stop playing Salamander Sanctuary just because you don't want to draw it. I mean, you prefer not to draw Blue Boy, but you need it in the deck to search a Crowley. Another reason why we're playing a little more than 40. One Curtain Razor, because it's searchable. By, it's a, for one, it's a bridge of Small World as well. We get Small World with Curtain Razor in the deck being a Fiend. This is a Fiend that gets the Lava Golem. It still ensures the whole deck gets a Lava Golem. Illusion of Chaos also gets the Lava Golem as well, which is good because of randomly they have the same defense and nothing else is the same. So keep all this in mind. The bridges, a small, it helps with the bridges, but at the same time, it's also good to have a one of Cerberus to get with Servant or in scenarios where you want it, or a one of Cerberus to search up beyond the pendulum in random scenarios that does come up very, 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 very random. Where you scale it, you pen summon it, you Mighty Master blow up, and then you serve Jackal, special server, server is banished to go for game. For time, uh, you can you have to banish instead of pop or something like that. Uh, the, yeah, the one Curtain Razor is nice as well because of Abductor. So a lot of the times when Abductor has a bunch of spells, you search Curtain Razor, special Curtain Razor, continue. Uh, the one level goal in the, the Brave Package, we're playing two right, one Foolish. Because Foolish is the same as right, except it gives you one free spell counter. Uh, you don't have to worry about, about Shizu cards anymore, so Foolish is better than right in this scenario. And uh, you don't really want too many, like, I know you could throw in this to max it out, but you are playing Pendulums, you don't want too many useless, too many of the same engines. So even this is good, even this is debatable, 2-2-1, two, two, but I think this is a perfect number here. Uh, Enchantress being a Spellcaster is actually better than any of these, because you don't use a normal summon at all in this deck. Like I said, you don't Blue Boy at all. So a lot of times you just normal a random sp Spellcaster just for no reason, just it's a Spellcaster, you just normal summon it. So Enchantress being a Spellcaster does come up. Uh, the special summon also comes up. It's a Spellcaster. It comes up a lot. Once you get to know, one upstart, one into the void. Into the void is relevant. If I could play a thousand into the void, I would. The most common qu question I get upstart into the void. Truth, bro. Why are you playing upstart into the void in a 47 card deck? Read the first line of Servant Vendemian and get back to me later. Each time a spell card is activated. Each time my 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 spell card is activated. If I could play 100 into the void, I will play 100 into the void. This deck would be tier zero with that. Three mastery, obviously. Restage in right hand, amazing. Not just for Soul's Illusion and Blue Boy, but vital because of Enchantress. This is actually huge. Because Enchantress is a spellcaster, this comes up a lot. This makes your restage important. This makes it now where there's scenarios where you just where you open right and restage, just as an example, or foolish restage, whatever. Instead of searching Griffin, you search Enchantress. Special the Enchantress. Enchantress go into Artemis. Restage special back the Enchantress. You've got yourself a free Crowley. Like, right, right gets you a free Crowley by itself. That's absurd. Like, a free Crowley for nothing. And then you can go Selene, you can do a bunch of stuff after that for free. Like, for free. One right by itself gets you that for free with Restage. So, they're a great combo together. Uh, small World, so good. So good. 
this deck could afford uh, losing the card because when you're getting a card like like Servant, look how many spells you're playing. Enchantress is a spell. Blue Boy is a spell. Curtain Rage is a spell. All the Soul's Illusions are basically spells they draw. So when you can start your turn with Small World, we know Open This is amazing. This is also why I think Fenrir is great to play. If you guys can afford two Fenrir, it's amazing. I would like to keep the deck as budget as possible, which is why in budget versions, remove Triple Tactics stuff. Like if you're playing a budget version, you don't essentially need uh, the Triple Tactics stuff if it's budget. But Fenrir does come up nice with Small World. And that's the deck. Preparation rights is amazing, like I said. If budget's not an issue, these are good. If you would like more budget options, you could let me know in the comments if you like a full-fledged budget option. I could make, we can make this deck for under 150 bucks, beginning, main, side, everything. Uh, most of the price just being the Souls package. Uh, there's ways to make this as budget as possible. Uh, post side deck. Uh, Kashtira, like, Kashtira does get solved via four Lava Golems in the deck. Uh, it also the brave package to bounce helps out the uh, helps out destroying the deck a lot as well. Uh, but side deck, I mean, look at how much the side deck obliterates Kashtira. You just side in the, t the first thirteen cards, draw any, you auto win the duel. You already have four small worlds, seventeen of them. You have seventeen cards that are a one card auto bomb win button. There's nothing they can do about it. GG. So it's vital. You side one eccentric because abductor search is eccentric, and going first, you decided the lava go for any random pendulum, just a pendulum card, just something. Any of these are useless going first. If you're facing a deck that has hand traps, you put in talents. Do not main deck thrust. Thrust is not good in the main deck whatsoever. There's no happiness or bestials. Thrust is fucking useless in the main deck. It's only good going second. Going second is vital. So main talents, if you'd like, but I, you don't really need to. Extra deck, one Artemis, one Crowley, one Beyond the Pendulum, one Cross Sheep, one Masquerade, and one Unicorn. Very important. Triple Selene. A lot of people look at this deck and be like, Trip, I don't need three Selene. What the heck? I go through, I go through three Selene in one turn. It's vital. It's very important. If you want to really screw up your opponent going second, three Selene. Access, Apoloza, Absolute Vortex, Double Lingaribo. The only card I'll put in the main deck right here is Dark. Dark is important. You could, if you really, really want to, you can remove a Duster. You can remove a Change of Heart. You could side deck the two Lingaribos if you really want to. You can main the Saryusha, main the Dark. This comes up as well. That's the list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the best way to play Endymion. If you guys got this far, I'm actually convinced that by the time this goes around in 15 minutes, this is already sold out. But if you guys want to get this, there's only 15 of the exclusive beyond the, uh, the exclusive Magician deck boxes left. Very, very cool. Actually amazing. Very first deck box of Truth Gaming. Check it out in the description. Love you guys. Smash the subscribe button. See you guys in the next video. Peace.